everybody abstracts a different reality. When you come through a room, you abstract the reality you're prepared to abstract. You pick up the signals that interest you. Your brain records them and organizes them. We all have our own reality tunnel, and in our reality tunnel, we uh, pick out some things and ignore other things. And we've got 10 billion cells in our brain receiving hundreds and hundreds of millions of signals all the time. We just pick out the ones that fit into the established grooves in our brain, the, the reality tunnel that's been laid down by past experience. We all have our own belief system, and the signals that fit our belief system get in. The signals that don't fit our belief system get ignored, or if they keep coming back, we go to a psychiatrist to get cured and make them go away. receives billions of signals every minute and out of them we select a small portion and make a picture which we project outside and consider reality. That's our reality tunnel. That's our reality tunnel. Claims of the Normal, 
And we actually are offering $10,000 to anybody who can produce anything that's totally normal in all respects, or even average. And then the normalists all claim that they got something that they, they can demonstrate. They call the normal. They never can produce it. It's a mathematical abstraction. You try to find a normal, uh, a normal dog, a, a, a normal human being, a normal Irishman, a normal Portuguese, a normal American. You can't find them. There is no such thing. But everything turns out to be uh, uniquely itself and uniquely perverted from the norm. Who is the master who makes the grass green? Well, it has to do with language, uh, as Nietzsche pointed out. It gets tiresome to say this leaf, that leaf, the next leaf, leaf number four, leaf number five, so we say leaves. And then sooner or later some asshole like Plato comes along and says that leaves really exist. And they don't realize we created them. So the, the reality isn't haunted by the abnormal or the paranormal. The normal has been invented by a process of self-hypnosis, of creative imagination. Who is the master who makes the grass green? Who is the master who makes the grass green? Who is the master who makes the grass green? Who is the master who makes the grass green? In Northern Ireland, there's a city that's called Derry by the Catholics and London Derry by the Protestants. You say Derry in one part of town and the Protestants will shoot you. You say London Derry in the other part of town, the Catholics will shoot you. And that's only one illustration. You go around the world, you find a million illustrations like that. People are entirely hypnotized by the words they use. And they want everybody else to use the same words, too. The world is full of people who are killing one another over who has the right reality tunnel. 
As noble Drew Ali said, if you let other people define reality for you, you are living in a world that is called hell. It's when you start creating your own reality that you can create a heaven. Who is the master who makes the grass green? Who is the master who makes the grass green? Who is the master who makes the grass green? If you're Van Gogh, you live in a world with cats that look like this. If you're not Van Gogh, your cat shouldn't look like this. The sad man lives in a sad world. The happy man lives in a happy world. The angry person lives in an angry world. At the end of the valley of decision, there is always choice. Reality is what you can get away with. If you can't get away with it, it ain't real.
spectacles, testicles, brandy, cigars. You're all popes. You're all absolutely infallible. I have the authority to appoint anybody a Discordian Pope because I'm a Discordian Pope. The first rule after you become a Discordian Pope is to excommunicate every Discordian Pope you meet. This is based on the basic Discordian principle, we Discordians must stick apart. With quantum mechanics you can prove that light is made out of particles experimentally. You can build up a whole mathematical theory of light traveling in little particles called photons, and you can do experiments, and the experiments will give you a pattern showing that light is traveling like particles. We've also got a whole mathematical theory built up showing that light travels as waves, and we've got experiments that will show you that light travels as waves. As one uh, physicist in the 1920s said, it looks as if the damn light is waiting to see how we're going to do the experiment and then deciding which way it's going to travel. <laughs> Schrodinger said, I wish I never got mixed up with this Vedanta quantum springer I, this goddamn quantum jumping. The modified Copenhagen view is light is neither waves nor particles until we look, and then it, then it adjusts itself depending on what we're looking at it with. An electron is not anywhere until we look. And when we look, the electron decides to be somewhere as long as we're looking. As soon as we stop looking, the electron is everywhere again. Every model we make uh, tells us how our mind works at, uh, as much as it tells us about the universe. Processing interactions, tuning in interactive processes. Processing interacting is all I ever tune in. I cannot tune in anything but interacting and processing.